what is up ladies and gentlemen this is james with another james show welcome back today we have a wonderful video for you guys wonderful i mean like i'm stunned i have no words for what we're about to watch what we're about to see here this for example just came through my mail a silver play button for the james show all thanks to you guys so hit that like button subscribe to the channel with notifications on tell your dogs your cats your mom your dad everyone come over to the channel cousins friends Dogs and cats, subscribe to the channel with notifications on, and let's get on with this. Alright, so this first video is like, what the heck is going on here? There's this TikTok account. The TikTok account is Awari13. She has 1.9 million followers. I'm not sure exactly if she got these followers after these videos went viral or if she had a lot of subscribers before this. She has her daily life going on here on TikTok. It's a really normal account. And then you have these videos of this person. Let's just roll the video for you guys to understand what I'm talking about. This is the first video. This is background song and this really old guy, really old guy. Some people are saying that he's 193 years old, all right? Others are saying he's 163 years old and some other websites are saying he's 115. Now, in some other websites, they say that he is um, Buddhist, he follows uh, other teachings, meditation, and all those things. I'm not sure exactly if this is his secret to eternity. And if you want to check the videos out, Awari13 TikTok account. I will put a link under the description so you guys can check it out. Tell me what you think. Is this guy really 163 years old? And if he is, how the heck is he doing this? Well, it's not a secret. I really love going to the beach. Uh, picture the following. You're, you're at the beach. You're running towards the beach, towards the ocean. Hey, mom, take a look. Take a picture. I'm going to jump. Yeah. Woo. There is no ocean. Bam. Where's the ocean? Well, sort of what happened with Kelly Johnson in the Bahamas. Let's take a look at this video. Where's the video? I mean, where's the ocean? It's gone. That's creepy. I think this is in the Bahamas. I mean, like, uh, let me just pause the video. Hey, is this, is this, is this the, the ocean god? Can you please turn on the waves? Or at least tell me when they're coming. This is really crazy. And it's not the first time it happened. I guess it was, uh, there are many of these uh, videos from 2018 through 2020. Um, it really started happening more and more. A lot of people were freaked out. Captured on camera by Kelly Johnson. And uh, really creepy. Look at that. What is going on here? What's that? Oh, come on. Do not turn the camera away. What is that? What? Oh, okay, right. Where are the boats? That seems like it's... Yeah, that was actually tied up to a boat, right? Where is the boat? Wow. A lot of sea life there. Really nice, really nice video. We can see that, yeah. Well, have you guys ever seen this happen? Well, we've talked about glitches in the matrix before. Glitches in the matrix. What is a glitch in the matrix? It's when we can't exactly explain what's going on. If you've ever watched the movie The Matrix and we had The Matrix 4. Anyways, we are not living, most likely we're not living in a simulation. However, there are many researchers out there, many people that say that we are. So this video here, explain it to me. What is going on here? It's 
Watch this. Whoops. Let's see. You have car. Beautiful car. Where did that car come from? What the heck just happened here? Crazy. What? Let me just... What? kidding me i mean if this is a camera illusion which is most likely what's going on what an illusion but for now we're gonna say it's a glitch in the matrix what do you guys think talk about a glitch in the matrix talking about a glitch in the matrix here is another video and it's a tiktok video i really hate tiktok videos for one reason the background music sucks i gotta tell you guys this this is terrible not only that the videos are like 15 seconds long why man why well let's play this video and as you can see we have a huge text headline here like keep your eye on the dog all right let's do that let's watch the video keep an eye on the dog what what i wish i could see the full video where do you guys get these videos from? Anyways. Um, I see a girl and her dog and probably the owner is capturing it all on camera. And they're probably at a bar playing. And um, she's running with the dog. They're having an awesome moment, a good time at night. But if you pay close attention, the dog seems to disappear for a slight second there the video what I'm gonna watch this again no way yeah what my gosh that is creepy what's going on? I mean like hmm yet another glitch in the matrix i mean like this one is sort of i mean i think this one is more of a legit video than the others most likely the previous videos that we just watched were just a uh, camera illusion while wow, this one hmm this one is stranger let's roll the video again it's a tiktok video with strange background music I would love to watch this video without the background music let's watch it again it's a bird why how what is going on here as you can see we have loads of people recording this and it's like everyone is just as baffled as i am and you will probably are too the thing is uh we can see this is not a bad camera quality i mean this is not a bad quality footage this is this is actually good footage we have this is probably 180p uh high definition let's roll the video again um and we can clearly see it does not look like there's a wire there holding the bird now this is not the first time that I see videos like this and I really wish I could explain what's going on here. And at moments I stop and think this is most likely CGI or someone's just toying around, uh, putting effects on these videos, it's not impossible. But you know, then how do you explain all those people baffled by this? They're capturing it on camera, so most likely, no, this is not CGI. This is actually something that was going on. Loads of people stopped and started recording it. What the heck is going on? I myself have never seen a bird simply hovering there. Like it's still midair. 
however, if you, I mean, like dozens of videos, dozens of videos, if you search the internet, you'll find dozens of these kind of videos. It's weird. This next video also coming in from TikTok. But it's a bit different. There is no background music to it. And it's, it's, it's different. Let's roll the video. All right, tell me I'm on fucking crack. Every time I turn off the light, there's like a shadow in there. Watch. You see that? What the f***? What the f***? Tell me I'm not on crack, dude. Hell no. What the f***? Dude, I'm out of here. Ma. Oh my gosh. Get the heck out of there, boy. Oh my gosh, this is like creepy, man. I I don't know what to say. There's like um, loads of fake uh, paranormal videos nowadays. However, you know, I, mean, I don't know, I don't know how to how to say this, but it doesn't look like it's fake. This one really looks like it's legit. But there's like a bunch of videos where people turn off the lights and you see like this ghost thing and then they turn on the lights there's nothing. Could be another one of them, or not. Who knows? I come across some people with strange stories of something similar, so yeah, it's hard to say if this is indeed or not fake. Uh, what do you guys think? And have you ever been through something like this? Person really seems like he really seems like he's scared, so I don't know. So this this next video isn't exactly coming from TikTok, but I think it was. You know, I thought it was worth showing it to you guys and talking about it well recently let me see here where this video is coming from one second guys let me check my database well recently in ukanda beach in kenya there's been uh what people are saying it's a mermaid sighting however this is not in low quality camera a lot of people are saying like oh james why do these paranormal ghost videos or creature or cryptids in general why do these videos always come in a really bad quality like potato cameras this is a this is not a potato camera this is a really good camera actually wakanda beach in kenya let's roll the video you tell me what you think is going on here You can actually hear. You can actually hear the strange sound this thing is making, this creature is making. Look at that. I'm gonna play it again. What? And what is this? Is this a mermaid? I gotta say. What? When I look at this, first thing I think is it's fake. It's completely fake. This, this is a fish and a person. And the person is probably painted uh, the, the, the red hair and all those details. Most likely just a scene, a, a fake. Just something to call atten draw attention and make it go viral, which I think was a success. Now, what's really weird about this is that a couple of weeks before this video was posted, this other video uh, did not go viral on TikTok, but it did make uh, it to a few Facebook pages. People were talking about it and all of a sudden, boom, you got this mermaid video. So this is the video. Let me play the video. It has this really bad background song. Let me just remove the background song. And as you can see, we have depictions of the same kind of creature, which is odd to say the least. I do not know which books this is coming from. Um, I have researched a bit and tried to find out. I have not, I, to, to now, to this uh, moment, I have no result. I have no name for this book but if you do if you know the name of the book please do send it over to us through my email or comment section 
But as you can see, this creature that we're looking at right now is the same creature that we have in Ukanda Beach in Kenya. Now the difference is, this video here with the person going through this book, which shows what's supposed to be a mermaid, well, this video was posted and it's, it's probably coming from the US or Canada. As you can see, the book is in English. However, the video from Mermaid is in Uganda, in Kenya. What the heck is going on here? Do we really have a legit Mermaid Tiny? What do you guys think? Right, so there's this urban legend about a cave that was shaped in the form of an M, a capital M in the Nevada desert, in Mojave Desert, in Nevada, right? I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly, Mojave Desert in Nevada. And there's this guy, Kenny Veach, who went missing searching for this cave. This was in 2014 and he had a YouTube channel by the name of Snakebit McGee. And this guy posted a video and it all started with this video and under the video, he left a description. This is what it said. This ain't nothing. I am a long distance hiker. One time during one of my hikes out by Nellis Air Force Base, I found a hidden cave. The entrance to the cave was shaped like a perfect capital M. I always enter every cave I find, but as I began to enter this particular cave, my whole body began to vibrate. The closer I got to the cave entrance, the worse the vibrating became. Suddenly, I became very scared and hightailed it out of there. That was one of the strangest things that ever happened to me, according to Kenny Veach. This is what he wrote in 2014. All right. So this video that he posted with this description became a viral sensation on YouTube. Everyone wanted to know what this M cave was. Did it have anything to do with aliens, Area 51? You know mysterious things like that and i guess this i mean what kind of cave makes your body vibrate and gets you scared right this is an experienced hiker we're talking about kenny veach was supposedly an experienced hiker he's not gonna simply go out running from a cave get out of there because he's afraid of it he was a curious man but he says that he felt it vibrating his body began to vibrate what the heck is going on right people on youtube started posting comments like, can he go back? We want to know what is inside this cave. You can imagine guys what it is to have like hundreds of comments of people asking you to do something. Sometimes, well, you feel the pressure and well, Kenny did. So he went back to this M cave and he tried to find it back in late 2014. He went back to try to find the cave, right? And the video was titled The M Cave Hike. You can actually watch this for yourself in, on his YouTube channel, Snake Bit McGee. And he set out to find this mysterious cave for a second time. And when he returned, he posted a video of his discoveries. The thing is, he did not find the M Cave in this video and people were pissed. They wanted to know why? Is it a lie? Are you trolling us? What is this? Why did you not find this cave? So people were, you know, angry. They wanted Kenny to find the mysterious cave and I totally understand why. So there was this internet user who posted a comment under this video, his M cave hike video, saying, no, do not go back there. If you find the cave entrance, do not go in. If you do, you won't get out. Well, anyways, people did not take this seriously. Anyone, no one took this seriously and people just left comments, rude comments, saying, Kenny, go back there, what's going on? Are you not capable of finding this cave? Anyways, on November 2014, Kenny set off to find the cave once more, and he simply disappeared. No more videos on his channel, nothing. Not only that, a couple of days later, his disappearance actually turned, turned up on the Las Vegas news station. People were talking about this guy on television and things became serious. He didn't just stop posting videos, he literally disappeared, searching for this M cave. Well, weeks went by and the story about the M cave and Kenny Veach just became bigger 
and bigger and people were curious about it. Posting comments on his YouTube channel, people started, you know, hiking, trying to find this cave without much clues. You know, thing is, one day, his girlfriend posted a comment on his video. And her comment says, I am the girlfriend that Kenny spoke of in the video. There are so many posts. I had no idea until a friend of mine let me know. So many people are wondering what happened. And yada, yada, yada. Well, she goes on to explain that Kenny did go missing. They've tried to find him for two or three days and they did not. They were experienced hikers. She went hiking with him. He usually went very prepared, like as in... He brought food and water for two or three days and um, he used snake guards, sun protected clothing, walking sticks and all those, everything. He was prepared. For example, if he was going to do a hike for eight hours, he brought food for two days. This guy was prepared and he knew exactly what he was doing according to Sherry and Pilgrim, his girlfriend. Anyways, he went missing. Nobody was able to find him and nobody was able to find this mysterious M cave, which makes things even more mysterious. Well, this is where a lot of YouTubers started posting video in the Mojave Desert. And I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly. Trying to find this cave. In 2021, Aqua Chigger YouTube channel. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly. He made a, a video or two about the M cave. And he tried to find it. He is very interesting video because he compares the spots from the M cave hike video from Kenny Veach to where he is and to the things he finds. Let's take a look at this video. All right, I'll have to kick those down. But yeah, this is <laughs> this is the easier way down. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to head down into this chasm. And supposedly that's where the M cave is. And once I get to something I recognize from Kenny's video, we'll get the uh, camera back out and start taking a look at it. We're at the next kind of identifiable place that Kenny was at. And I want to show you just a little clip of his uh, video. I have to admit, I actually laughed kind of almost out loud when I first saw this. Let's look at his clip real quick and I'll show you that <laughs> proof that I'm here. So this is where he's looking at the two caves. I'm getting ready to show you. And you know where he says that the cave he's looking for looks like the letter M. I thought that kind of looked like an M there. It does look so like an we're M. At, we're at uh, 1539 in this video, if you want to go see it. All right, so the M cave hike, the original video, the M cave hike video. <laughs> if you look at 1539, you're going to see that he is exactly in the same place. Aqua Chigger is in the same place as Kenny Veach right now. However, he says that these caves are hollow. They're shallow. I'm sorry. They're shallow, and that they're not. They don't. They don't go deep. But this is where I started thinking: What if? What if? Uh, I don't know. What if there's a secret entrance? What if there's a certain different way of going inside this cave or another? I don't know. The thing is, this entire place is weird. I get a, a very strange energy from this place. Look at this. There's something, something's not right here. And I don't even know exactly what. This is what's crazy about this place. This is really strange, bro. Anyways, this guy goes on and talks a little bit more. He finds uh, what's, what's supposed to be a camp. Someone was camping there. He shows a possible uh, place for a fire and he goes on to explain that there's like really strange geological formations. Let me show you guys this part is interesting. Alley gas is down in here. I see those are human footprints there so someone was up here not too long. This guy's good. This guy's good. Very interesting. I would definitely go hiking with him. <laughs> It just showed a very interesting geological formation there. What is this place, bro? What is this place? During that video, the MK video, he never once mentioned uh, that he was going to have to climb out of this bottom right here. And in fact, he never showed on video that he ever climbed out of the bottom. So I'm just gonna stick to the bottom. 
you know, I think if it was way up there, he would have said, you know, he had to hike up to it. Uh, yeah. And I just, uh, I think it's going to be on the bottom if it's here at all. That's an interesting thing right there. Not the M cave, but you can see those two holes up there and there's another hole right there. It looks like two rocks standing up, which doesn't really look natural to me. That looks like a person put them there. Well, it could have been somebody 20 years ago, it could have been someone 2,000 years ago, but I'm gonna get my uh, field glasses out and take a closer look and if it really still looks like someone put them there, I might I might go up there and see what we can see. That's why I carry field glasses, so <laughs> I don't have to hike every, every time I see something like that. There is a interesting little formation, looks like an M over there, but it's very shallow. I can look at it with my binoculars. See that it doesn't go back into the hill and his description was that it was deep. Ooh. Wait a minute. What is this place? I'm... What the heck? I have to say, this entire place looks like it was man-made. Or, you know, just something made it. Like he said, maybe thousands of years ago. Maybe 20 years ago. It does not look like it was made 20 years ago. It's like the, the, the feeling I have here, in this place that this guy is right now, is that I'm being watched. And I'm not sure why, because I'm not there, right? Okay, but look at that. I mean, like, really, here. It's like I'm being watched. It's really strange. What the heck is this place? I'm trying to see if I can find a creature, or maybe, you know, I, I don't know, something out of place. This is like a little slot canyon that goes around. I don't know how much uh, more canyon we had to look in. Well, we're not going to give up yet, I just got to figure out how to get down. I can certainly see that there are things, someone, I don't know, drew things uh, in the rock or carved letters into the rock. It looks to me at least strange, right? You see that? Maybe when you're coming down, we need to go off to the side. There's a big drop off right there. Maybe we need to go off to the side and go down because I think it's going to be actually easier to do that. In the meantime, let's look at this rock. Looks like it's got some type of secret uh, code on it. Yeah, that might be what that is. It might be telling us to veer off here and that we can drop down easier on the side here. He mentioned that one, by the way. That's where the drop off is. And I walked around. It's really rubbly. It's like limestone rubble. And it dropped down into a hole that I think will be easier for us to get down than right there. But I'm going to have to turn my camera off so I don't break anything. And I'll let you know how I got down in just a minute, <laughs> if I get down. Yeah, almost fell. Wow, was that? Um, all right, I'll have to kick those down. But yeah, this is, <laughs> this is the easier way down. Yeah, so I crawled down through the hole there, which I just showed you and slid down to here. And except for that, it's gonna be really easy because I just have to get underneath that rock and then I'm- This is the easier way down. This guy's like a hero. That's yeah, gonna be a tough one. Oh, jeez. Definitely not going down this way. Wowza. Yeah, that's gonna be a little bit tougher. Get rattlesnakes in. Wow. Yeah, maybe we will. <laughs> it's just going slow. Wow, what the heck is that? I don't wanna get hunted by her, so I don't wanna get up in there and hunt the soil, but I wanna look at it and show you a gigantic rat nest. What the heck is that? So that's full of uh, all kinds of nasty. You can see some of the poo right there. So I'm not gonna go any deeper than this. Uh, doesn't meet the description of the MK though, does it? No, it doesn't. Right. Get the heck out of here before we, before we start coughing. <coughs> that's where the rat cave was. Well, I'm not sure if Aqua Chigger found the M cave. Actually, I don't think he did. The thing is, uh, as he mentioned in his video, um, there's nothing that even looks remotely like an M. And uh, whatever happened to Kenny and if the M cave is real or not, well, I'm not sure. But it is intriguing, it's mysterious, and it's, I mean, it, it screams. Everything in this story screams like there's something really strange about it. What do you guys think happened to Kenny Veach? And have you ever been to the Mojave Desert yourself? Are you good at hiking? 
what do you have to say about these kind of things? Do you think it was a normal thing? It was expected for Kenny to go missing? Or do you think something else happened to Kenny? What I wanted to say is that they found Kenny's phone near a mine at the time when they were searching for him, but they never found him. Nothing. Which makes things even weirder. So what do you think happened? What is your take? In a city called Guharat, and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly, something strange happened in this guy. Let's take a look at this video. What the heck is this? Oh, it moved. It disappeared. These are flares. Of course, or not. What? If they reappear, then they're not flares. What is that? What language are they speaking? I mean, like, what? This video is a complete mystery to me. But they did disappear. Um, look at that. It could be flares. I'm not sure. What are they saying? I mean like There's something else over there It's different, it's a bit different It's shining, I can see it, but it's not Oh my gosh Another video of it From another per perspective Oh my gosh Oh my gosh Whoa Those are not flares. See, it's so much better when people capture videos like this and not like this. I mean... What is going on? What was that in the sky over there? What the heck? It's like... Is that a cloud? What is that? That's strange. Anyways, this was in Guharat. It was all over. Everyone was talking about this. I guess it was last year in October. And um, it was, I mean, like these are Twitter videos that were uploaded to Twitter. So if you have any idea what this could be, I mean, in my opinion, at first I thought it was flares. It's not flares, it's something else. What would you say?